All right, so had a small question about curcumin. Curcumin is the one of the, uh, if not the most active component of turmeric. Um, turmeric, the, the spice, the root that's been uh, used in, in Indian cooking, especially for thousands of years. Um, both turmeric and curcumin, and the curcumin that's in the turmeric, um, have wonderful anti-inflammatory effects. Um, in addition to that, it looks like they may also have some anti-cancer effects, which is pretty exciting. Um, so curcumin, if I had to say anything that, that was somewhat negative about it, it's not very soluble. Um, it tends, when it's taken orally, it will tend to stay in the gut, it, it will stick to the gut, which actually makes it really good for any kind of inflammatory bowel disease. It can be very helpful for that. But if we actually want to get the molecule into the blood, into the body, systemic, to have, to have a systemic anti-inflammatory effect, like, like say for arthritis or something like that, we either have to take a high amount of it, or it can be made more soluble if it's combined with a substance called piperazine, and which actually comes from black pepper, and it'll increase the solubility about 50%. Um, in general, curcumin is very, very well tolerated. Um, had a lot of patients that can actually tell that they feel better when they're, when they're taking it, and uh, to my knowledge, very, very safe. So um, I do tell people cook with it if you enjoy the taste of, of turmeric. Um, feel free, you know, to add it in. Um, it will stain, so I tell people, you know, even the, the capsules that we carry, um, this morning I had one in my hand and, and I look and I thought, oh gosh, all my hands yellow after just holding that capsule for five seconds before I popped in my mouth, but um, wonderful stuff. So please include it in the diet, um, consider it as a supplement and um, curcumin. <laughs>